What's going on guys? Today we have I Rate Your Teams episode number 36. If you are new to the channel and don't know what this series is, it's pretty simple. You send your teams, I rate them every single week. There's two different ways to get your team teams rated every single week. Um, the first way is by following me on Twitter. Every single Friday this tweet will go live. And every Saturday I record the episodes. And then Sundays at 10 a.m. Eastern, the episodes go live. The second way is by coming through to the Twitch live streams on Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, as we rate teams for the first hour of the stream live. And I try to get through as many as I possibly can in that hour. Um, so there's two different ways to do it. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, both linked down in the description. And of course, if you are new to this channel, 63% of you guys who watch these videos are actually not subscribed. Okay, so hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications. Without further ado, let's get started. So normally we'll take like two or three minutes per team, but today we're going to try to speed run and get through as many teams as we can. Kind of giving quick scores as we are at the end of the year. So you might see this more often on the episodes going forward. But we have a full Cowboys team. Good receivers there. You have DeMarco Murray. DeMarco Murray is a very good non-X-Factor running back in the game right now. Emmett Smith, obviously a good one there. Uh, Ring of Honor, Mike Vick at QB. Cowboys theme team is very good. I mean, they're solid. I mean, the zone KOs, you're paying a little bit extra for some of them. But it is what it is. It fits your scheme. It looks good. It looks solid as far as your uh, X-Factors go, which is also a big part of team building. We have two unstoppable forces and an avalanche. I don't love avalanche Isaiah Simmons. I've noticed that even with avalanche, sometimes it is, you don't even force a fumble. So I don't love avalanche personally, but 3 AP Mike Vick set up, yak him up, and then angry runs on Emmett Smith. Of course, 99 Jake Ferguson. For a Dallas team, plus two speed everywhere. I mean, this is probably like a 9-3 nine, nine, squad. 9-3 squad, 9-4 squad for Dallas Muse looking pretty sexy. Next up, we have a 50 Denver 25 Niners grinding for Linderbaum. Okay, so um, and maybe Megatron. And Megatron's definitely a must-add. Um, especially, I mean, for you, it's kind of tough because you, I mean, okay, if I were to replace someone on this team with Calvin, it would probably be Demarius Thomas. I think theme team Corlin Sun gets better abilities where, while Demarius Thomas, you're already at the cap. You know what I mean? Like you already have 98 speed, 99 speed. But I feel like if you were to get Calvin, I would get, I would replace Demarius Thomas with him. Run Demarius, run uh, Randy Moss, run Corlin Sun. Those are three, six foot, what? Six foot four, six foot five guys. Out there, I think six foot four. Yeah, six foot four, I believe. I think Colin Sun might be six foot three. O line looks solid. Um, I do see the secure protectors out there, which you'll love to see. We have Mike Vick. CMC as the running back. I don't love, but I do believe if we go over to the specialist tabs, he will have Eric Dickerson there. So CMC probably barely plays with zero AP on him, I would imagine. We'll see that defense real quick. Um, again, yeah, you have Broncos. Broncos is Broncos the 25 or the 50? Uh, Broncos is your 25. Okay, so. Corners look great. Akeem Talib is solid. Chris Harris is good with the free secure tackler, free mid zone, free flat zone. As far as your safety goes, you know, I would probably just use Justin Sims. Oh, you already had Justin Sims on the other side, though. I don't know who else you'd use. I don't know who else you'd use, but you have Jair Brown kind of hiding. Maybe you use Simmons over there anyway, but you're not going to be able to afford, you know, what's his name today because he's quite expensive. Um,. Uh, Brian Dawkins, two and a half million, as he's probably one of the best cards in the game right now. Look, look at the abilities, look at the discounts. He's just stupid good. So, even on a Broncos team, it's gonna be tough for you to acquire Brian Dawkins. So, this team right here, it looks pretty good to me. I would probably end up giving this team. Let's see the X factors. X factors are definitely lacking a little bit. I think that's why I might give you a high eight on this team. Uh, maybe a mid eight, eight five on that squad. Uh, but again, we, we're trying to be a little bit harsher with the grades as it is end game and. Really, throughout this whole year, we, we've been seeing a lot of good teams. We haven't seen a lot of bad teams like in years past, I've noticed. So, um, I think definitely towards the end of the year, we're going to try to dial in the scale and have it figured out for, um, you know, the, the next Madden, whether it's Madden 25 or whatever they call it. And next up, we have my man, Big Boy Sean's team, okay? He's got a 25 Combine, 25 Vikings, and 6 Y2K. Getting get, get Moss on Saturday. Yes, uh, Randy Moss is a great buy right now as Calvin Johnson came out. A lot of people were using Randy Moss as their cheap wide receiver. Calvin comes out, Calvin's better. Randy Moss's price goes down. That's how that worked. But we have uh, Vikings is a pretty good 25, as you, have, as you are going to have Justin Jefferson um, on that team. And the inevitable uh, Cordero Patterson's coming. He's got to be coming out eventually. Who knows how? He, he probably won't be as good as the Combine guys, just because AKA X Factors aren't as good as the Combine ones, but still will be very good. Uh, Trey McBride, I guess it might be a cheat. I think he's just kind of like a solid budget guy, if I had to imagine. Um... But combine with Vikings, okay. I, I mean, it's a solid team. Am I going to go crazy about this team? Not really. I, I would probably give this team an, a high 7, 7.5, I think is good for that squad. 
Next up, just a normal 25 combine, which can be run at a high level if you have the right cheats, and it looks like he does. He's playing tight end Bo Jackson at wide receiver, which I don't see a lot of people really doing. But Bo Jackson, tight end, is pretty much just a wide receiver as a tight end position, so he's more versatile. You can play him at fullback, you can play him at wide receiver, and you can play him at tight end. That's why they did that, if I had to imagine. But Calvin, one of the probably the best cheat in the game right now. He's crazy. Or obviously Brian Dawkins is good too. Um, you have Bo Jackson, you have Harold Carmichael, you have Bo, Mike Vick. Musgrave up there as well. Marshall Lattimore, 98 speed. Nandi Asso, 198 speed. Tariq Woolen, 98 speed. Brian Branch, crazy. Justin Simmons on the 25 combine team. Aravco, Colossus with two unstoppable forces. This team right here, I think it's got to be... I think I'd give this team a, a nine. I think it's a, a nice nine from, from my man uh, Dom squad there. The next man up is Halo's team. He's rocking 25 Jets, 25 combine, and Y2K. Pretty similar to my team. I and actually just, just dropped my Y2K. Um, all we have is full Jets and Combine right now with good cheats across the board. So um, Y2K team, I like this. The one change I would probably make, if it fits for you, and it should, it, I would be Yak. I would get the Yak um, Andre Reed card over Demarius Thomas. Um, run, yeah, and then run uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, Garrett Wilson. I feel like you are missing a Yak him up um, at receiver. I know tight end gets it, but I think it's easier to use it with a receiver because of RPOs and things like that. There's more designed for um, receivers than tight ends, and you don't have a good backup tight end. When you have Brock Bowers, he's solid, but he's not like elite. So you kind of have, you're definitely playing Kelsey at tight end. So the main reason why I like them is because you're able to, you know, Yak almost better on receivers, simple as that. Um, and I think Yak is almost, yeah. I think it's a worthy deal. I think it's a worthy trade for you. Um, I'm on Ross and Brown. Okay, your route tech, jukebox, Garrett Wilson, with I hope maybe it's probably route tech and third down threat. Mike Vick looks solid as always. Running back Bo Jackson, Tariq Woolen on the team. Um, you of course, getting combine, Sauce Gardner, Bonte Wyatt, or even with combine, you could get Darius Hayward Bay as well. I forgot about him too. Um, but Deion Sanders, Troy Palmalu lit up. No, 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 um, no token on him. No extra token on him. Aaron Donald with Unstoppable Force, Warren Sal with Unstoppable Force, and reinforcement on Tariq Woolen. Okay, good looking squad. Pass rush wise, you look solid. Run stopping wise, you look solid. A good user. Solid looking team. If I had to give this team a grade, I would probably, I mean, I do have to give this team a grade. That's the point of the video. But what am I waffling about? But I would probably, give, even good secure protectors up there too. Um, I would probably give this team a, um, it's kind of a tough one. I feel like it's kind of, I would probably, yeah, I would give this team a 9-1. I go 9-1 on this team. Really no holes whatsoever. It looks pretty good. All right, look, look at the chems here. We got 30 combine, 25 Raiders, 25 Super Bowl, a million coins. Think about ditching them though just using the players i like okay that's fair we're at that point of the year where you can start using the players you like i mean not every card in the game you can use because you like them and be like super elite but the one the new ones that are coming out you definitely can but either way team looks good bo jackson qb eric dickerson with the ring of honor token nfl 100 this might be last gen um randy moss up there too we got justin jefferson cooper cup okay good looking offense and then defense we got a did he, did he say he has super bowl yeah super bowl too which Super Bowl, you're probably only using the boost Jair Brown and Karloftis, I guess, which, you know, which are two good cards still, which is crazy. Um, Woolen with Combine and then Raiders as well. Good looking team. Uh, two reinforcements and unstoppable force. Or two, sorry, sorry, I messed up there. Two unstoppable forces and a Colossus. Uh, Simmons looks good up there too. Um, this team, good looking squad. The good looking squad, I would go high eight, eight, seven, eight, 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 nine for this team right here. Looks pretty solid. Next up, we have King William team. We have a full Seattle team. Seattle, still one of those teams I can't believe ended up where they are right now. And I thought they were going to be the, I thought they were, were going to be up there with the Raiders or the Niners or the Chiefs as far as recent years of Madden goes have been the elite team teams because of playoff content and Super Bowl content and even just historic players for cards for, for, for teams like the uh, Raiders and the Niners have been juiced because they've been good and they've had the historic players too. Steelers have had a good year too, but the way that the Seattle Seahawks started was crazy. I got to say that right now. Um, Marshawn Lynch with Angry Runs, 3 AP, JSN, DK Metcalf, Devin Hester, looking pretty solid there. Mike Vick at QB. We have, of course, the 99 speed Jordan Reed. Kevin Malway, O line looks okay. Um, Branch, Fuller, Woolen, Cam Chancellor, Justin Simmons, and yeah, they need a Richard Sherman upgrade bad. We have one unstoppable force and a reinforcement and a uh, and a dual threat so i don't love i again i think using your abilities on pass rush makes the most sense 
I, I just think it does. I mean, I, right, for me right now, I'd run two on pass rush, one in my secondary, just to cover up a hole I have. But two is a little crazy. I mean, I don't, I dual threat solid. I, I think I'd rather use dual threat on like a 6 1 edge rusher if you use with that card. I like that. But outside of that, I don't like, I don't love it. And then Brian Bosworth, Brian Bosworth as a user, even on a theme team on the slower end of things, I mean, he's, he's okay, right? Um, Bosworth. Bosworth, there he is, 95 speed, so 97 speed. It's it's pretty solid. Six foot two abilities are not like great, but he does get lurk artist in mid zone at least, which is okay. So um, this team right here, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eight one on this team. I'm gonna go eight one. Okay. Next up, we got a Combine Pats and Eagles team. I haven't seen a Pats team in a minute, but of course, Randy's on the team. Combine, you do get a Koye, who is becoming affordable now um, for the Combine teams out there. And of course, every AKA LTD will get Combine games too. Uh, Dickerson, great. He, you, you don't have the token on him. Have, you do have angry runs on Bo. Token on Mike Vick. Finneran as well, getting boosted by Vick. Carmichael, all big body receivers looking beautiful. And all Eagles too. All Eagles right there for Finneran and Mike Vick. Nambi Eagle, Tariq Combine, uh, Talib is a Patriot, DRC's Combine, Aaron Donald, Harrison Phillips, and okay, we have a, a nice momentum shift, universal coverage. I think you should probably go with the Colossus on Harrison Phillips over the universal coverage, in my opinion, but obviously keep the momentum shift, but team looks pretty good. You have good user options, good pass rushers everywhere. Um, Rashad Jones is a good zone guy if it fits your scheme over Justin Simmons if you want to go that route which honestly I might try I mean I've been, I've been using Justin Simmons for a while but I kind of want to try Rashad Jones um, but it looks a very good team very, this team right here is very good there's really virtually no holes on it and um, yeah it, it's pretty pretty <laughs> it's, it's tough to beat this and of course the uh, secure protectors too he has all those as well so this team right here I'm going to give it a um Let's go with a nine, what, nine, set, six, 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 nine, six. Yeah, I'm going go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that right there. We're getting to the end of the year, man. It's just like, it's so tough because like you, a 99 card on a, a 99 speed card on a theme team means nothing um, compared to someone that has the same card not on a theme team. You know what I mean? So it, like the grading scale has to move, shift a little bit, but. It is what it is. Okay, here we go. We got best editor. All right, we'll see about that. Uh, he's got 25 combine, 25 eagles to give Carmichael 99 speed. So he's really just running combine, and I guess I guess Vic is Vic's an eagle too. Um, that looks good to me. If you wanted to try Finnerin, you could. Finnerin um, does, of course, get the Michael Vic boost, and then you also have him on the Eagles team, which is nice. If you wanted to try him over Randy Moss, but you don't have to. That's not that big of a deal. Um, yak him up there, and then angry runs. Okay, all looks good there. Uh, you know, pretty standard for Mutt 24 here. And then Brian Branch and Nate Wiggins still getting some play out there. Three equal and Troy Paul Mollage and Simmons off the edge. You have Bo. Users Isaiah Simmons or maybe Hendricks too. Maybe he runs 6 1. A lot of good pass rush abilities. We have two unstoppable forces and a reinforcement. Don't hate that. Um, I, th this team though is probably like a. Probably a. Eight. Eight. It, it's not. He's good. It's solid. I'm gonna, I'll go with an eight on that one. I'll go with an eight. Next up, 25 Vikings, 25 Combine, 25 Super Bowl here, um, and 6 out of 6 Y2K. Still waiting for Diggs' price to come down before he takes some god spot. Okay, so yeah, Diggs will be on this team for sure. 25, 25, 25, and 6 out of 6 there. So with this team, Falk hit Super Bowl, I believe, and then you have Mike Vick, no theme team, but that does not matter at all. Again, Justin Jefferson, 98 speed. Randy Moss is good. I think I really do feel like the Vikings are one of the best 25s in the game right now because everyone got Justin Jefferson. Getting that card to 99 speed is a card with decent abilities. And, you know, his size is good. The card plays well. 99 speed is nice for a free card. Just kind of getting that out the way. 25 mil, though. You're chilling. And then, um, okay. Yeah, yep, yep. And you're, and I guess that's why he still has 25 million because he waits for cards to come down in price. If I did that, I probably would have 25 million too, to be honest. I probably would. Um, but Super Bowl team to boost Jair Brown with the mid zone of, uh, X Factor. We got Warren Sapp, and we have one of the X Factors here on defense reinforcement, mid zone, and universal. So, no pass rush abilities. I think you gotta have one pass rush ability at least. Like, if, you, if this is your personnel, you've Aaron Donald, you've Warren Sapp, you've Harrison Phillips, and Arabco. I feel like you need to have at least one Colossus, one unstoppable force. I prefer Colossus, but it's up to you. Um, 
But team, the team's very complete. Team looks very good. Of course, Y2K, 98 speed here. Y2K kind of is a nice team for filling the holes um, across the team here. And honestly, mm, nah, maybe stick with Y2K, actually. Who's your tight end? Bo Jackson, Kyle Pitts. Who's your last? Oh, who's your last Y2K? Do you have him? You got Tillman. Am I missing somebody? Must be someone I'm not seeing here. Maybe it's not. Wait, no. I it, Maybe it's Marshall Falk who gets it. It must be Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk must not get Super Bowl. That must be the case. Okay, so I'm going to give um, solid wide receivers. Do I love Marshall Falk as a running back? No, no, that's probably the main drag on the grade here. And also the lack of X factors too. So um, for this team, I mean, you're, it's solid. I'm going to go 85 on this squad. A lot of good names, but I think just better abilities. And I do think like... I mean, are you using Bo, though? No, not if you're using Bo on a combine team. Which, I guess if you're sick of it, it makes sense, but... You could even go get someone like... You know, go get Travis Kelsey's card, his Y2K, use him. Then you can use Bo, or even no... To I would rather even have no token Dickerson than Marshall Falk. 100%. That one's easy to me. That's a that's a no-brainer. All right, last team of the day. Let's take a look at Dom Swib Zerti for your... All right, bro. Uh, this picture is kind of criminal. I'll do a quick glance. I really can't tell what it is or what's going on here. But I guess I kind of can. Two, 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 two tokens. Wilson looks pretty solid. I don't know what chems you have, but looking at the team, it's probably a smooth eight, eight, maybe seven, nine, seven, 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 six, somewhere in there for sure. Somewhere in there, I would say. But for our last team, we have Kermit's Reject, okay? 25 Steelers. 6-1 using Simmons. He's running dollar. Yeah, let's see the squad here. Let's see the squad here. Um, only 25 Steelers. We've I, for some reason I haven't seen a lot of Steelers teams. So Don Peoples Jones, people like that card. Obviously, you Darius Hayward Bay's better. Julio Jones is better, but you but you know that. Uh Justin Jefferson's nice. Maybe even toss a nice little 25 uh, uh Vikings onto this team. Just get Justin Jefferson something 99 speed. Let's go Burris, no theme team. Or sorry, no X Factors, no abilities, but on the Steelers team. Big Ben up there at QB. He's got Heath Miller. And he's kind of in a tough spot. I mean, I would definitely try to get Mike Vick, by the way, if you can. I mean, his little year coins don't really add up, but I would definitely try to. Um, and then you have a Troy Palomalu fully lit up. Wait, no, you don't. Why do you not have your token on Palomalu? I mean, it's not. It, does it even cost an AP? I mean, I think you have your token on Palomalu. I guess it makes sense not to use the X Factor on Palomalu. Yeah, you have your token on Palomalu. You're not using it because you'd rather have the pass rush one. That's, a, that's actually smart because Palmalu doesn't even need his universal and Avalanche is kind of hit or miss, like I said earlier in the video. So you already have mid zone, flat zone, and deep zone. That's like having universal but better. So it makes sense. Ed Reed with uh, probably uh, mid zone, deep zone. And then we have Tariq Wall there with mid zone, deep zone. And then Chris Harris with uh, zero AP, secure, flat zone, mid zone. And then Devontae Adams, uh, just an absolute zone demon. Kind of, if he came out, you know, three AP for that setup back then was great now it's not as great but still you still get the abilities right so this team right here is pretty good i i don't you know the steelers team of it does kind of make me feel weird but we're at that point of the year where you know you, these cards 98 speed 98 speed what 96 speed i would definitely try to either boost speed on Devonte adams or justin jefferson that'd be probably the next thing i would try to do but yeah may, maybe find a couple players you like on one, either packers or raiders or or Vikings team, you know, you can, you can definitely find somebody. Maybe go Vikings and you add Randy Moss to the team. So something like that, you can probably figure out and do. So, um, but again, your coin count is kind of restricting that, of course, which makes things tough. But um, we're here to rate the team and uh, let's give our final rate of the day. A, ooh, okay. Let's think about this one. I'd go 8-3 on this team. I'd go 8-3. I would go 8-3. Let's take a quick peek at this Combine Eagles team though, real quick. Let's take a quick peek at it. Troy Vincent, I'm sure he doesn't play. Does Troy Vincent play for you? I don't think he does. Simmons, Bayard, Carter, one unstoppable force, you know, um, Colossus, Universal. I like reinforcement better on Wolin personally. Um, because it helps me. If you use Universal, it only helps me in coverage. Reinforcement is good in coverage and against the run, which is very good uh, for a corner, especially with how, how much people run the ball this year right now. Like, it's crazy. It's honestly crazy. But it makes sense. The KOs, like, like the problem with KOs is not, is not that they exist. It's, it's just how good they are. Like, like a three-step after the catch, you're getting a KO. That's a little ridiculous. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like they got to be toned down a little bit. And they're supposed to be toned down, but obviously they're not this year. But um, Eagles team with Harold, Bo, Vic, Finneran, 
just a great team here, man. Just, just a very nice team. Pretty complete. Um, I would probably... I only can grade what I see, and I see Troy Vincent. So, unless you said something about Troy Vincent. Oh, nope. Sorry, you did. Okay, Carter, Vincent, Chop, and Byer don't play. Sauce and Specialist. How would you pull that one off? Because you have... How does Byer not play? I... I in sauce okay 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 he says something i gotta re i gotta rethink about my score now all bets i really like the defense maybe maybe i'm just confused on the defense a little bit but even like the lack of a secure here secure here secure here does scare me and secures are very important because you're going to come across those x-factor teams x-factor all those x-factor guys so this team right here i'm going to give a um oh man this is a tough one this is a tough one it's like so like I'm cool giving this one an A3 as well. Just because just of the defense, really, and the lack of secures. I'm going to go A3 on the squad. I'm going to go A3. So, of course, if you want to chase me part of the next episode, did I get through that many teams? I really didn't do that good of a job. Hopefully, we're able to get through, like, 20-ish teams an episode. But right now, we're still working on towards that, okay? But yeah, speed rating's tough. I, I, I like talking, obviously. So, um, yeah, hey, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Sub, sub to the YouTube channel. I thank you for watching today's video. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.